is yummy. <laughs> What's up, beautiful people? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. Oh my god, I miss you guys so much. We'll be making something special. Donuts, yes. We'll be making this yummy, fluffy mouth watering. I mean everything, okay? <laughs> we are back for good. Making this nice donut today. So let's get started. So in a bowl, we'll be needing some all-purpose flour. And then next some sugar we'll also be adding some salt to taste some yeast and then also we are we are going to stir this together beautifully you want to stir this very well so everything combines okay next make a well in the center and add in your margarine or butter Next, take another bowl and crack in one large egg, adding some milk to that. Next, some vanilla extract. And then we are going to whisk everything well to combine. Make sure you whisk this well, okay? So now, we are going to mix that margarine to our flour mixture. And so everything is well incorporated and then our liquid mixture also goes in. We are going to mix everything well to combine. Make sure you mix this very well because this is where the magic is going to happen. I want to watch this video to the end because I've got a surprise for you, okay? I just added a little bit of water to this and then continue with the mixing process. Next, you just want to clean your spoon or spatula, whatever you are using. Just clean everything well. And now the hands get to do the job. You want to knead this dough very well. Knead it, knead, knead, knead until you are tired, okay? Don't worry, it's all worth it in the end. So that's me right there, just kneading the dough, removing every excess and adding it to the main work. And then you just knead. So we'll be kneading this dough for about 10 minutes thereabouts and then we should be done. And you guys, while we are kneading our dough, kindly subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up and share my videos. So you get to know it's ready when you pop your finger into it and it bounces right back. Next, you want to cover it and... Put it aside for about 30 minutes. When it's ready, you just sprinkle some flour on your working surface and then you transfer your dough onto it and begin to roll. I realized the dough was a little soft, so I added just a little bit of flour to make everything correct, yeah? So now it's time to roll our dough. Just roll it into the exact um size that you prefer okay we are not working with any exact shape just roll, roll roll until you want that thickness and then you are good to go and the secret um ingredient that i promise that is we are not using a donut cutter i was trying to add one from amazon but it was delaying and i wanted to make this recipe for you all so quickly so i decided to use this cup and then a cover and then shout out to the sweet ajele because i learned this trick of using a cup from her okay so all you need is any cup at all and then you just put it just exactly as i'm doing in the video then after that use a cover of any bottle and then you are good to go so you just make your donut circles nicely and then after that you go into the middle use your the cover of your cup and you are good to go you don't have to miss enjoying donuts in the house just because you don't have a donut cutter okay so just do this recipe and trust me i mean you are going to love it okay so we are still making our nice donut shapes no stress at all 
Just make this and enjoy with the whole family. Everyone is going to love it. So you can just cut the other excess. Don't waste it. Just cut it those shapes and then fry them as well. Okay, and it says just right as the right dough knot. Okay, so next you want to put this together, fold it again, and cover it again. Allow it to rise before you can cut them into another dough knot. So I just did this off camera, and that's me right there putting it on the sun. You want to leave this for about two hours. So my beautiful viewers who always want to see my face that's your baby girl so uh, about, about two hours i came back and they were perfect okay so it's time for frying my perfect and most interesting parts and these are donuts looking nice the uh, oil was already on fire and then you want to keep the oil for about low to medium high heat and then you transfer your donut into it nicely please 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 be careful when you get to this part okay so you don't burn yourself now you want to turn things around don't leave this because when you leave this alone they are going to burn quickly so just Use your stick or anything you have available, which you could use and turn this donut around. And that's our donuts. They are getting ready, and I want some donuts right now. <laughs> All right, guys. So just flip it over when it's to the brownness that you want. Okay, this donut don't keep long in cooking at all. So just flip things over, turn things around. And they are ready so what you do is that you just pick it and then put it into the sugar just coat it exactly uh, um, right from the oil it goes into the sugar when you don't do this it's not going to the sugar is not going to stick onto the donut so you want to remove it from the oil then straight into the sugar that's if you want sugar donuts yeah so that's exactly what's happening here we pick our donut transfer it into our bowl of sugar and then we set it aside so yeah and you'll be enjoying some nice donuts you know christmas is approaching okay and we can just make this in the house and share it. and everyone is going to say that oh my god these donuts are just it's a lifesaver okay <laughs> so our next bag goes in and then you just want to turn things around just so they don't bend and yeah, we should be enjoying some donuts real quick. So they are ready now. We want to flip it over so the other side can cook as well. So you guys, please subscribe to my channel, recommend my videos, like my videos, share my videos. And I promise you guys nothing but the best, okay? Everything food and lifestyle, trust me okay so now we want to transfer those donuts as well and we are not sugar coating this ones we are just transferring them and we should be enjoying some donuts very soon in fact, this kitchen is smelling, everyone is, everywhere is smelling and everyone is ready to enjoy some donuts. And our baby ones also go in. No, we can't waste that, okay? So we just transfer those ones also into our hot oil and then you don't want them to rest at all. You just want to turn everything around quickly so that they do not burn. So 
So now they are ready and want to transfer them out of the oil and then set them aside as well. And voila, it's time to enjoy some donuts, homemade donuts without stress. And that's your baby, the tasting time. That's my favorite, okay? <laughs> so we tasted this and oh my God, it was just as it looks. <laughs> So thank you guys for watching my videos. I really appreciate your girl is back now for more for more videos. Stay tuned. Check out